Uganda Road Fund will release the last quarter of funds amounting to 128 billion shillings. The money will be for routine maintenance of roads by districts, municipalities and town councils. This release is 100% of budget funding allocated in the financial 2017-18, amounting to 400 billion shillings. That with this money we have already disbursed to them, they should be prepared, they should be even to be able to team up, districts should be able to team up. If there are two neighboring districts, they have a problem, they should be able to utilize this money and change work plans, but with authority from road fund. If the work plan was supposed to repair a road from A to B, a place to, one, to another one, but somehow a flood has affected it, it's causing a bottleneck to an, in an area, they can cast concert here from here and they change the program. So that we can avoid the situation of whereby there are bottlenecks and roads are impassable. Utilization of the funds will increase to 620 billion shillings in the financial year 2018-19. Part of the budget for periodic maintenance of roads in the country will come from the 100 shillings tax increment on fuel. Me, I would want to appreciate that one. Of all the taxes I'm talking about, because that money comes something like 900, I think 900 something billion, you know, for the whole country after the end of the, the financial year. But this money has been given to road fund. So our budget has been increased by 50%, almost 50%. So next financial year in 1819, it will be like, it will not be business as usual, no. no. The districts of Amuru, Chibale, Chiruhura, Rwanda, Chenjojo and Nakaseke, and two municipalities, Busi and Kamuli, will not receive the third quarter release until previous funds have been accounted for. Punitive measures, including sacking of the accounting officers, may be recommended in the case the accounting officers totally fail to account for the funds. Onyango Jackson, UBC TV.